Hey everybody, we're back in the vault at TFOA. I've got something really special for you today. This is a Gibson from 1929. This is the HG24. And this might just be the first dreadnought Gibson ever made. So, the first dreadnought ever made by Gibson, it's quite a bold statement, but let me explain. The serial number is, let me check, 88875, which unmistakably dates to 1929, which is strange because the first Gibson dreadnought, well they call it the Jumbo, was built in 1934, following Marta's footsteps, which built their first dreadnought in 1916. And whilst the first Gibson dreadnought was released in 1934, they stopped using the The Gibson Headstock logo by 1933, a year before. And this guitar was made three years earlier. Normally the HG24 was a Hawaiian guitar, that's what HG stands for. And usually it was built with a full rosewood body and it had four F-holes, which you can see this one clearly doesn't. And she was built for Hawaiian playing, so with a slight so the bridge was very high and the nut was also raised, so the strings were very high up on the fretboard. This guitar surfaced from Nashville, from Groom Guitars, and George himself wrote an extensive article about this instrument because she's so special. And he had his questions about the top. He thought it might have been a reed top, so we had our best luthier check out this instrument, and he can confirm there has been no reed top. This is the original top, just like the back and sides are fully original, maple. The guitar is fully original, besides the finish. It's been expertly refinished by a luthier at Groom Guitars. And the way we saw that was because a few of the repaired cracks are under the finish. But you really can't tell, it's been expertly done. All of these facts might suggest that this model is a prototype for the Jumbo as we know her now. But she might have been a custom order back in the day, who knows. At least we're incredibly thankful that we have this guitar in our collection and she might fit better in a museum than in our private collection. But it's one hell of a guitar and it's a really unique piece to have. Thanks for watching everybody and tune in next week for another episode of The Vault.